Oh. Hey everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor. Welcome to the live drive of two Ford trucks, the F-150 Tremor and our all new 2022 Ford Maverick. There's something about Ford trucks here at Daily Motor that just makes mother nature want to dump her guts. And that's what's happening here today. It's a winter wonderland. It's getting slick, it's getting snowy, it's getting dark. And we're gonna have some fun here with these two trucks. You wanna come around this way? We got Alyssa behind the camera. Unfortunately, Nathan was not able to join us today. He got caught in some of the snow business and some other more important matters. But take a look at what we've got here. Isn't this fun? We've got Ford's smallest truck offering and one of their biggest, at least non-Super Duty offerings, the F-150 Tremor. So for the next hour or so, we're gonna spend time in both of these trucks talking about what makes them unique, what makes them fun, and kind of anything you all would like to know or see. We're gonna probably spend about the first half or so with the F-150 and then switch on over to the Maverick. Now, this is actually our personal long-term Maverick now. It's a brand new truck. It's only got about 500 miles on it. And so it's not even completely broken in, but we know there's a lot that you all would like to know or see since it's the first time of us actually having a Maverick in here at DMHQ. Um, I think that's about it for today. So we should do a little bit of a walk around. We'll get to your comments here in a few minutes and then we'll get Alyssa and I out of the snow. So like I said, this is our long-term Maverick. This is an XLT, no XLT luxury package, but it does have FX4, off-road package, and the 4K tow package. So coming in about 29, just under $30,000. Area 51 paint, FX4 wheels. Uh, it's been fun so far. What have you thought of it so far, Liz? I kind of think it just, it feels just like driving a Bronco Sport, but with a four and a half foot bed. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that is pretty much what it is. Yeah. You can see we don't have a bed liner yet. Oh, truck's locked, which because this is a Ford, nice Ford feature here, you can go code. Don't memorize our codes, everyone. And then come on back. Everything's unlocked. Nice. Even though the key is not in the truck yet, we haven't used it, you can get everything open. Nice low bed height. I mean, this, I'm about five foot ten, and it's just above my knees. Yeah. And you can still get right in. You can reach right in, even in the back, no Fly problem. Height for me. Yeah. Climbing up in, you don't need steps or anything. You can just hop on into it. Whoa, it's a little slick. It's really slippery right now because of the snow. But we do plan on getting a spray in bed liner. Maybe uh, maybe a Linex or a Rhino liner or something like that. Yeah. That's in the works. We're also gonna get some sort of bed topper, like a tonneau cover that you yep. can roll, roll back. That's nice. Quick little sneak peek on the interior before we get to the F-150. This is the standard uh, XLT interior with the fun orange accents and a little bit of a bluish color. Yeah. This thing is sweet. So we'll check that out more here in a little bit. But over here, the 2021 F-150 Tremor. This is kind of the Raptor for people who are realistically uh, gonna use their trucks. And they're, <laughs> they're, they're not lying to themselves saying, oh yeah, I need a Raptor to do big flex, off-road jumping and everything. No, the Tremor is gonna give you just about everything you need, a little bit less power, not really that noticeable, and a good amount less money. This one, as spec, $55,000, but you got the whole full cab, five, five-ish foot bed. Look at the suspension lift on that thing. I mean, that, that's that huge. a significant amount. That's a foot. Yeah, big wheels, big tires, big suspension. You know we're gonna be having some fun with this off-road today. So we're gonna get the Maverick parked and then hop on back in here to the F-150. Okay. Where's the key for the Maverick? It's in that. Okay, cool. We'll drive, we'll drive it over together. Oh no. I'll drive it because it's in my seat. Oh, okay. Yeah, that yeah. sounds good. And you can take the camera. This is the truck, big truck key. They're both the same, aren't they? Yeah, let's see here. This is the Maverick key. This is the F-150 key. They are exactly the They're same. They're identical. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, that's not good. <laughs> We're gonna see a lot of that theme. This truck costs 55,000, that truck costs 29,000. We're gonna see some of, those, some of those similarities throughout today. There you go. Where do you want it parked? Uh, we'll go right over here. I'll go with you. We'll go over um, by that pole. Got some good all-weather floor mats, and we will be getting to your comments here in a sec, right after we get this parked and get out of the snow and everything. So I know I saw Pittsburgh man in there. Hopefully we got yeah, some of our other pals as well. 
Yeah, Pittsburgh man thought I was kicked off and replaced by Nathan. Because <laughs> I hadn't been in a while. Uh, it has been a little while since Liz has been here. Yeah. Well, we're glad to have her back. Back in action. The reason I'm driving this right now and Charlie is not is because it's already set for my seat <laughs> preferences and it's a pump for height and it's just annoying. Yeah. I'm sure we'll get pretty speedy at doing it. Probably. Up, 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 down, down, down. Do you want me to go straight where that is? Just, well, yeah, just straighten it out. But like, yeah. Okay. Good. Um, back it up. You're, 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 yeah, you're kind of cockeyed. Just so it looks like it's meant to be here sort of thing. Good? Sure. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we'll be back to the Maverick here in about half an hour. Let's go do some F-150 stuff. Yeah, I, did, I must have done that. Probably, did you hit the lock button? I must have. Okay. Isn't that just a fun little thing? Unfortunately, I don't think you can lock this into rear wheel drive, so we won't be able to have as many fun antics with the Maverick as we're going to be able to with the F-150. Hopefully this didn't disconnect from the uh, hot spot either. I just realized the hot spot was in the truck <laughs> in the F-150. All right, look at these gold accents, brown coloring, tremor badges everywhere. And up into the tremor. Look how tiny I am. <laughs> Ah, oh. chilly. Oh. I'll let you get the comments out. I will start this up with the key. No sunroof, no leather steering wheel. This is rubber. No, it doesn't even have automatic climate control. This is a, this is a base boy. Oh, but you do have lots of aux switches, which is also something. Oh, wow. That you get what? in the Raptor. Those are for like if you had a big light bar on the front of the truck, you could oh. wire it in and actually control it from here. Click them though, they're really satisfying. Feels like you're doing something real important. I'm sure that's what they want you to feel like. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, who do we got in the comments? We have the Pittsburgh man, of course. Oh, of course. Moran, Muhammad, Yas, Xavier Soto. Cool. All right, say hello to all those people. Hi, all those people. <laughs> Xavier is asking what's better, Chevy or Ford? Um, if we're talking trucks, I'd say Ford. The F-150 is really darn good. And I, mean, I would take a Colorado over a Ranger, to be fair. But I would take a Maverick over both. Unless I had to do and a lot of we towing. did. Right. <laughs> Look at this, everyone. Column shifter. Mad props to Ford for that. It's super hefty looking. Yeah, E.T. This whole truck is meaty. Yeah. Nice. Yas says I really like the Tremor, and the Maverick is pretty great too, actually. This is some free donuts for everybody. <laughs> Look at that, we're not even making y'all pay for them. <laughs> Today's gonna be fun. We're just glad to be back in action. We're bummed Nathan can't be here, but we got Liz. Oh man. <laughs> it is slick. It is very slick out here. And Charlie is just gunning it and drives me crazy. Um, the Pittsburgh man says, well, when the Maverick goes missing, we know someone in the stream took it because uh, I said, no one look at our, uh, our code. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. Well, to be fair, they could get in it, but all they'd have to do is just sit and hang out until we came out with the key. Yeah. We, Charlie is in a hooning mode, mood for this. The Pittsburgh man also says, I know Alyssa misses the Tesla and you are 100% correct. And Yas is asking, they sold the Tesla? And yes, we did. Yep, we did, Yas. We sold the Tesla for a, a lot of money. It was $57,000 what we sold our long-term Model Y for. I'll be doing a video on that, breaking it down and all the numbers and everything. But at the end of the day, it was a business asset. And as much as we loved having it, that was that was the right thing to do. And if we get one in the future, we'll get one with a little bit longer range. And by then, battery tech will be further on. That's stuff, true. So. It'll be in my name, so Charlie can't sell it. <laughs> Admittedly, I mean, as much as we we fared just fine with the the standard range battery pack, if we wanted to do a trip like we did this past weekend over the Christmas break and go up and visit family, it would have taken us an extra 45 minutes to do that trip because of charging. Yeah, that's true. And there's something to be said for just not having to do that. Jeez, Fishtail City. Still Fishtail City. Charles, good lord. 
We've got big suspension, we've got meaty tires. This is the perfect truck to have for today. <laughs> oh, and look, it's already broken. Ground fault detected. See owner's manual for details. What? What does that mean? Ground fault? It's the, the truck has a um, the Pro Power onboard like rear plug, wall style outlet plug that's like really high output, and they often have this issue. The last truck we had had this issue too. Interesting. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Too bad. Yeah. Fortunately, well. that's not going to stop us from sliding. Yeah, that ground is not at fault. Oh God. <laughs> Mohammed says, nice snowing. <laughs> <laughs> nice snowing ya, everyone. Yeah, nice snowing ya. Moran says, tremor, the poor man's rafter. Some people will say that. Yeah, I mean, it is true, but there's also something to be, some something honorable and understanding if you don't need the full rafter and, and if this is totally good for you. Man, look at that tiny, tiny, is that a ranger? That is a ranger. So it's tiny. Smaller than our truck. Wow. Honestly, if we don't flip over in this live drive, I will be impressed. <laughs> oh my god, especially going around this curve. <sighs> Alright, I'll stop. I think I had a donation amount set for going off-road, but I don't think I'm going to wait for that. <laughs> You're not going to wait for that? Okay. Honestly, I'd feel more comfortable being off-road. Yeah, you know I won't be able to go as fast. Oh, I was going to say there's no road to go off of. <laughs> You're already off. <laughs> Touche. Yeah, if we go off the road in this, I mean, it would just drive back out. Yeah, that's fair. Xavier is asking if we can hold the snow, and I don't know if that's like a truck thing. Maybe he means like, can we physically hold it in our hands? Five dollar donation, we'll hold the snow. We'll, we'll have a snowball fight. Yeah. We are sliding right now. No one coming. Holy smokes! <laughs> I need to uh, hold the gear. Does it hold gears? Yeah, I think it should. Let me see. There we go. Yep. This truck actually, t do you think that truck tried to make that turn and then wasn't able to slow down? Yeah, I 100% I believe it. The, when I was pulling out of our neighborhood, a van did that in front of me and I'm at the stop, I'm at the stop sign. <laughs> I backed the truck up and was like, uh... Number one fake gamer is in the chat. Hey! Says I'm minute. back. Hey, glad to have you. Woo! -hoo. Pittsburgh man says no horn, Xavier. Ha! <laughs> From last time when he, I don't uh, know, he was asking us to like hold the horn. I gotcha. No push start button in the F-150? No, this thing is basic. Yas says Ford is so stingy. <laughs> People have been going this way because there's a bunch of trash in the road that way. Got it. Holy smokes. We'll have time to get some outside footage of this. Yeah. Jeez. It glides over it. I know, the suspension It's like awesome. butter. Yeah. Which way is he going to go, guys? Look at all this new development out here. All yeah. those trees completely gone. Wow. We're, soon we're not going to be able to use this. Right. Right through the puddle. Whoa. Through this one, too. Big. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is extra flooded right here. <laughs> Woo! Nice. That's fun. That's good family fun. <laughs> Is there a sport mode for this? Does this even have? I would mode? be really surprised. Drive modes. Normal tow haul eco sport. Wow. Oh, darn it! I put traction control back. Anyway, I'll let you do a few comments. Okay. All right. Uh, free snow drifts. Daniel Wu says hi. Hello, Daniel Wu. Do you like the Maverick better than the F-150? Well, they each have their pros and cons. This is, especially being the Tremor, this is a very capable truck and, and definitely better for hooning around because you can keep it in rear-wheel drive mode. 
Um, the Maverick provides a lot of benefits though. We've been getting about 25 miles per gallon, which is some, definitely yeah, something the F-150 nice. would have trouble with. And it's so much cheaper. I mean, we got a decently spec truck for 29 grand. <laughs> You're not getting that with the F-150. Right. Xavier wants a brake test on the snow. Oh, okay, we can do that. We'll definitely. We'll probably do that without even trying <laughs> the whole time. Look at all the mud that Charlie just made. Did you wear boots today, Liz? Yes. Good. I wore my big boots. LL beans. I'm actually going to. That will be fine. Let's set me out over here where it's a little. Oh, you are going to let me out. Dry. Okay, that's why you're asking. <laughs> oh, we got a $2.79 Canadian from Pittsburgh Man oh, for the hooning. You. For the hooning. For the hooning. It's for you. Instead of the shiny. Jesus. Ah. And slide that in there too. I only have so many pockets. Wait, I gotta unzip the one. I'm gonna leave the comments in here. I don't need that. Okay. All right. Be back in a sec. Uh, let me get away from that puddle. You guys ready for this? Do you hear all the sticks breaking underneath that? I think I need to get further back. Honestly, want our pioneer forefathers <laughs> this is gonna be dorky to see this today and just be like wow those crappy little wooden wagons we had were such shit Yep. Ooh, watch your purse. Yep, I saw. <laughs> Fully standing on the, whatever those are called. Running boards. Running boards. Actually useful for once. Actually useful, because it's giant. This is an F-150? Yeah. Jeez, but, I can't imagine what the 450 is like. Right. Chandler, yes, it has sport mode. Hey Chandler, glad to have it. Glad to have you on. Come on, Charlie, get it stuck. Kevin Block, looks like fun, miss the snow. Um, this is really Daily Motor with Alyssa featuring Charlie. Yeah, oh. I don't think so, Pittsburgh man. That's what it's made for. Good to have live drives back. I agree, Yas. Thanks for the dono. Appreciate it. Chandler wants a four-wheel drive launch, uh, no traction control, exterior view. All right, we can do one of those Full in a second. Okay. Um, <laughs> is this the day Charlie soaks Alyssa? Alyssa throwing shade at the Pioneers for their wagons. <laughs> Are you throwing shade at the Pioneer? I said I really wanted our forefathers to see this truck go through all these... <laughs> All this mud. Oh! Gonna need some four wheel drive action. We are a little bit stuck. Someone, whoever said that, jinxed us. Better just put it in the four before we dig ourselves. Call Nathan. Nathan, we're stuck. You He's gonna be like. With the Maverick. Yeah. Well, the Topher hasn't yet gotten us unstuck with his uh, Forerunner, and now he's planning on selling it, so we need to get we stuck. We need to do it. He was planning on selling his other other one. Right. Here we go. Four-wheel drive to the rescue. Nice. It's, the suspension is really good. I'm honestly really impressed. It's just so floaty. It's really nice. You it's know what it feels floaty. like is, for those of you who play Grand Theft Auto, it's like driving the big... Uh, Ford Super Duty in Grand Theft Auto. That's just like a big marshmallow hmm. puffer. Would you be opposed to getting back out real quick for an all-wheel drive launch? No, I would not. Okay. Yeah. Xavier wants you to say snowball. Snowball. 
Or it's like one of those, can you say snowball? Ah, I see. Oh, it smells so bad out here. The mud. Okay, ready? through the snow. Look at bit of hoon straight down this off-road section and two-wheel drive and then we'll give Alyssa's stomach a little break and do some comments. I'm good. Really? Yeah. Good. says if I would get a tremor I would put 40s on 17 inch wheels with four and a half inch lift and front and rear air lockers that'd be pretty BA and honestly it'd be so much cheaper to do that to this than a Raptor that's true it's really slick here wow what, what, what was that this what were you doing hitting the gas. holy smokes How much is a tremor? Uh, it starts at about 50,000. This one aspects 55. 55, okay. Hank the Meme Man is in the chat. Hey, Hank the Nice Man. Aw. have ya. He says, oh, hell yeah, it's snow drifting time. Oh yeah, much snow drifting. Much, much, much. Holy smokes. Oh, you're doing that on purpose, aren't you? Are you? Yeah. Okay, thank God. <laughs> Jeez. The Pittsburgh man says, snow and Charlie makes for the best live drives. We have had some good ones last year when they got yeah. that GTR. That That's the one lot. he mentioned too. That was a lot of fun. And yeah. I think we had an F-150 Limited. That we, I think that was for a live drive that we sent it through the snow. Yeah. Uh, Xavier is asking you to brake torque the truck. Okay, we did do that a little bit earlier, and I can do that again. And someone is, uh, Hank the Mean Man is asking, is that an orange piece of tape on the right air vent? No. It's actually an orange accent. It's an accent other orange accents throughout not too many in the interior but more so in the exterior yeah it's really quite dark black in here i'm gonna freak out all these people up here <laughs> look out everyone we got a tremor coming through that's what they do when they see it yep tremor. they do tremor and fear oh tiny little camry over there this might be one of my favorite F-150s I've ever driven. This is Wow. Awesome. Well, you might be biased because we're getting some snow and you're, right. you're able the to drift so much. But we did have that all that snow in that F-150 Limited too. And it's just, oh, when, yeah. when you just consider like, yeah, 55 is still a lot, but it's providing you everything you need while also just having such an indestructible feeling. Like yeah. just the way that suspension all hand. I mean, this, these are rough parts of the road that it's just hand Yeah, the suspension is butter. It's like the Detroit spec. There you go. Do a quick 
walk around for everyone before we go back and get the old Mavy Mav. Maverick. Uh, Moran is asking if uh, it bounces off the limiter in manual. I will see. Just put it in first and then try it. Have to wait until we get through this section to do that. It probably does. Okay. But we'll see. It's very dark. Yeah, it is a dark it's cabin. Very dark in here. Mm. Maverick, like Maverick will be that way too. Yeah, we'll have to walk around and show all the back seats and everything. Yep. It does? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, you could hear it. <laughs> Heated and ventilated seats? Probably neither. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I don't see any controls for heat no, or heat or ventilation. Anything for that. The steering is so light. Super light. Oh, there's an M manual mode too, so that that would definitely hold it. Neat. Yeah. Cool, let's do a quick walk around. Okay. And then we can do some more comments with the Maverick. Does it have uh, cruise control? Yes. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> Not that basic. Woo, it is a step down, that's for sure. But here it is, the F-150 Tremor. Oh, it didn't even honk at us for leaving the key in. That's nice. You can barely see the some of the orange accents now because of all the mud we've gotten caked on there. But... It is a cool truck, that's for sure. Yeah. Some cool stuff that Ford's been coming out with lately. You know, Ford really goes in dramatic shifts of making lame stuff to cool stuff to lame stuff to cool stuff. This is definitely one of the cooler ones. But my goodness, would you really have to think if you if you need all of this suspension travel? I mean, that's... I guess what it does is it would allow you to put some larger wheels and tires on there, but... I feel like you'd be uh, at risk of hitting the edge of the, um, right there. Look at that, compared to the last truck Jeez. where it only went to about my knees. This goes was up at my, my waist, where yeah. the other one was at my mid-thigh. Right. That's insane. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I really need to hoist myself up. Yeah. All right. Let's do, um, I'll give you the camera real quick. I'll do a little rev. A little donut or two, and then I'll grab you and we'll go get the Maverick. We gotta look at the back seats too. Ah, uh, yes. Well, let's do that now. Okay. I'll go on the other side. Okay. That handle is at like my collarbone. Yeah. <gasps> back seats are back seats. They are very simple back seats. Cloth. A lot of compartments in the door here. Lots of dark. Lots of dark, very dark. There's this interesting gray camo look. Yeah. Simple. A lot of leg room though. A lot, yeah. lot of leg room. Definitely big back here. Yep. Cool. Simple. <laughs> ah, that's right. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, this is the center now. Okay. Which way are they coming? Okay, they're going. Does it sound cool? It does. I am very cold. <laughs> no matter which way you face, the snow is blowing in your face. All right. All right, now are you guys ready? I 
had to keep on moving, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Everyone give Alyssa the MVP for standing out in the snow and getting drifted around. <laughs> get the comments out and, and get back and get to the map. Alright, Hank the nice man says, Charlie, when I'm driving my 05 Silverado, I put my four fingers in between the right side spokes of the steering wheel, like a knife hand, and I can steer really fast that way. Huh. Interesting. It would be probably a little bit more up here, but probably good to know. I actually steer with one finger in the very bottom in between, uh -uh. but I did that with the Volvo. Gotcha. Yeah, that's a nice spot for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pittsburgh man is making a comment about the quickest backseat tour. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't want to get my feet all up in it with being all wet and everything. Yeah. The tofer sense. gets real mad if I bring him vehicles all dirty inside. Well, is he getting this? Yeah. Oh. Jeez. Everyone say hi to Bronco Jail. Bronco Jail! Look at all those sad Broncos! They're legit ones too. Big boys. Not as big as this big boy though. <laughs> They're so cute. Muhammad says Ford has been quite busy with the new fleet nowadays. I'll say. Yeah, they've been uh, putting in work. Yeah. Joey Finley is in the chat. He says, hey everyone, how are you doing? Hey Joey, been doing well. Hopefully you caught uh, caught some of those drifts and slides and fun Ooh. things. We've been doing a lot. If not, we recommend you catch us after the fact and put it live. To, well, not tomorrow probably because our Maverick video is going up, but the next day. And if not then, then the next day. Yeah, it'll get up there eventually. You are welcome Chandler. Anything for the channel. The Chandler channel. Chandler's been putting in work on the website, getting some... Nice! I'd uh, love to hear that. Yeah, I had like 600 uh, people on the website yesterday. Holy smokes! Wow! <laughs> yeah. That's sweet. He very, ne very neglected the dailymotor.com. But not neglected by Chandler. Nope. Nice. Moran says, last week I went to AMW, America's most wanted 4x4. Uh, in Holly, Michigan. Wow, to get my elephant. Found out why Wranglers steering sucks. <laughs> Just uh, a Jeep decided to put aluminum steering box that loves to flex. Oh, oh, interesting. Yeah, that would help. Holly is not that far away from where we are. No. Yeah. You should uh, hit us up next time you're around. Just... By the way, Maron, I, I tried hitting you up on Instagram. I didn't know how else to, to contact you. So um, if you have a preferred method of communication, let us know. I had some you questions. You do comment. Well, <laughs> yeah. I wanted it to be a little less public. Yeah. Look at how slow all this traffic's going. Yep. That, that would be me. That's how I would drive. What? Gladiator and Holy a smokes. Yeah. <laughs> What's up? Chandler is really cute. I was stop thinking nothing of it. Uh, Joey said, "Unfortunately, I didn't, but I'll keep an eye out." Good. Also, unfortunately, I may not be around for long because he's traveling today, but I'll stick around when I can. Ah, thank you. We're just about to take this back and pick up the old Maverick. So, if there are any last things you guys would like to know with the F one fifty Tremor, let us know. And unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to hoo in the Maverick quite as much. One, because it's all wheel drive only, no rear wheel drive mode. And two, because- We own it. Well, that. <laughs> and two, because it's not broken in yet, so we can't really rev it out too hard. Ah. Uh, nice. I'm gonna be shooting the winding road night drive after this, and we'll have to have some fun with that. Nice. On this. Yes. Glad I won't be there for that. <laughs> Neat. Any other comments? <laughs> wow. 
The Pittsburgh man says, so do people in Michigan not know how to snow drive? Not really. Mm, you, 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 not nearly as much here in the lower part of Michigan. In the northern parts, you get better drivers. But yeah. yeah, down here, it's kind of a free-for-all. Yeah. Well, there, we don't really get this much snow all that often before January. Yeah, that's true. And it's it's not even necessarily the amount of snow and just the when it does make everything slick like this, then yeah. people are driving around with bald tire and they're driving fast. And, yeah. yeah. So we have probably about 10 months of the year where people aren't, they don't need to drive like yeah. around in the snow all the time. But when we do get snow, it can be like this. Yeah, you're going to crash into our Maverick. Okay, out of one truck, into the udder. Chris Brower just commented and he said, I'm at the garage, come grab me please. Oh, really? I wonder if something happened to the E46. All Do right. you really want us to come get you? He, he probably, probably does. I'm trying to try and decide which truck we should get him in. <laughs> the perfect problem. I will, uh, let's head over in this and yeah, we're already in warmed case up. he needs something right away. Yeah, or needs to get, uh, take it home or something like that. Got it. Oh, the, oh, then he'll just drop us off back where the Maverick is. Yeah. Moran says, I do follow you guys on Instagram so you can find me in the following section. Okay, cool. Yep. I think that's how I messaged you. So if you did get a message from me, check it out. But, uh, oh, Fiesta ST. But, I don't know. I'm getting a phone call from someone I have no idea who and it actually has their name. Yeah, well, ignore it for now. I'm g I am need to, yeah. Um, it looks like he probably drove into the garage, so, uh, let's see. Well, he's probably not wanting to drive home. <laughs> what happened? Well, hold on a second. Let me get in the truck. Okay. He has a story, it, so it seems. Everyone say hello to Mr. Christopher Brower, Daily Motor Reviewer. Hello, Daily Motor uh, <laughs> fans. Um, We're back. I don't know what was going on with that that one. All of a sudden, our SIM card wasn't detected anymore. So fortunately, Daily oh, you're on uh, your wireless I'm watching CarPlay. Myself. Oh, sorry, yeah. I'm playing through the car. You're good. I turned it down. Okay, cool. Well, fortunately, here at Daily Motor, we come prepared with multiple hotspots, and we are back in it. Mm. So we've got the Topher here. I don't know where it cut out, but unfortunately, he tapped the curb and popped out a control arm bearing in the E46. Good driver. The 364,000-mile E46. Yeah, it'll be fine. Yep. It's already in position to be put up on the quick jacks. Perfect. Tomorrow, Keone's going to come fix it. Right. Or not fix it, but like Take a look. figure out what happened. Sure, sure. Like, All right. Literally, the wheel is not even scratched. Like, it had to have been something that was like... I mean, obviously, it's my fault because I tapped a curb. But, but it was probably so close already right, that... Right, exactly. Right. So well, maybe it happened for a reason. There you go. Maybe it would have broken on the highway and I would have been killed. That's the wow. good way to look at it. Yeah. Yeah. Just, okay. We, we're all about thinking positive here on Daily Motor, and, you know, I, I like to uh, be a part of that. Absolutely. This truck is a lot of fun. Isn't it sweet? It's really... I had I, a lot of fun earlier with it. I really like it. That uh, Very light steering, like surprisingly yeah. light. Yeah. But uh, just very marshmallowy. Yeah. Just goes over all well, the bumps and just it's um it's got its own unique damping. Does it? It's, it does. Wow, like that's it. cool. Yeah. Neat. So that's why it rides like a marshmallow. Well, let's hop on over to the baby marshmallow, our <laughs> Maverick. After a little bit of delay there. I haven't ridden in this yet. I'm pretty excited. Observe the exact same key for both vehicles. Yep. And, and uh, the Maverick has some things that this F-150 does not, including LED headlights and automatic climate control. You leaving your bag in here? Yeah. Uh. Okay, so here is the F-150 Tremor. We're going to move on over to our Maverick. Those of you who missed at the beginning, this is our long-term Maverick. So we actually own this. We just picked it up last week, and it's the smallest of Ford's truck offerings. Much smaller than the Tremor, much different as well. Key, please. Phone? Yep. And since it is only an XLT, I will have to manually adjust the seat back from Alyssa's seating position. Oh man, but I had so much room before. <laughs> <laughs> that is one thing Alyssa's seating position.
position provides is a whole lot of legroom. I do actually have okay legroom even behind you. You can though. go yeah? go yeah. behind me so you have more. Look at that. It should be my good. my legs barely touch the seat even being behind her. Now they don't touch it at all. Yeah, oh, they're about to though because you're moving down. Okay, so how do you actually put the the seat down? Push it down? Yep. Is it up? Yep, okay. bring it down. Good old crate seats. Mm. No heated seats, no heated steering wheel, just good old fashioned adjustments. Chili boy. Mm -hmm. Let's get that little two liter turbo warmed up so that we can get some heat. Yeah, how many miles on this? 440. All right. Yep, so still within break-in periods, we will not be doing any high revving action. But all time, all wheel drive, because we do have the 4K tow package. We gotta get this window down. No! <laughs> Did it let some? almost dead too. Yeah. All right, I think we are back. I think it auto reconnected, it looks like. Chris Brower can let us know here in a sec. Okay, I think we are back. <laughs> the other thing is we are at 20. Oh yes, we are back. We are at 20% on our camera battery. So, do you, would you be willing to grab the camera bag too? It's oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the Thanks, back seat. Alyssa. Everyone give mad props to Alyssa in the comments for being the real MVP. <laughs> Russian Alyssa. She's rushing to get that camera bag, I'll tell you what. We might actually get about five minutes of driving in the Maverick. Woo, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Woo. We have a member. Yeah, Moran likes to uh, unsign up and re sign up. I don't know why. <laughs> well, thank you, Moran. <laughs> yeah. Always appreciative of your membership. Yeah, huh? yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, here at Daily Motor, we're always prepared, we're just not always organized. Two very different uh, attributes. <laughs> yeah. JMC 6000 was hoping that we were driving a hybrid. Oh, a hybrid, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, the hybrids are super hard to get. I mean, we would have gotten a hybrid, but like, you just, unless you ordered one way back in the summer, you're not getting one. Okay, I think we're providing power, which, if the camera dies, then we'll throw a new battery in because we're always prepared here at the other <laughs> Which is not organized. Correct. Joshua John is in the chat, say hello. Hey, Joshua John. Now we just need PS1 Hagrid and we'll have the gang all here. Right. Gang's all here. <laughs> okay. All right. Devin says, what state is this in? It's snowing here in Wisconsin as well. Good old Michigan. Southeast Michigan. Mm-hmm. Where is our traction control button? I wonder if it's I have probably, to do it through the settings. It's probably in the input camera. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, right here. Oh. Oh, right there. You now you can't snail. actually defeat stability control in this truck, just traction control. Not even if you hold it? Not even if you hold it. You know, car and driver wasn't able to do it and I checked the manual and there's, there's no way. Yeah. Oh well. Are you getting commented in the, uh, or complimented in the chat for being the real MVP? No. <laughs> No, everyone probably believes the Pittsburgh man and that it was my fault. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so our Maverick. We have had this for almost a week and put almost 500 miles on it. We've done some truck stuff. We've done some off-roading. Today we're doing some snowy driving. We've done a 300 mile road trip. That was fun. This is an XLT model. No XLT luxury pack. So no heated seats, no proxy key, no heated steering wheel, but it does, oh, that person's continuing straight, <laughs> disregarding stop signs. <laughs> but we do have the 4K tow package, so all wheel drive and two liter turbo motor and 4,000 pounds of towing capability. And the FX4 off-road package, giving us some different shocks, some skid plates, an upgraded all wheel drive system. And that's about it. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Mukisa Serfusa says, hi, Charlie. Thank you for the sound system reviews. Keep it up. Hello, you're welcome, and thank you. Will do. And the Pittsburgh man says, we're missing Audi fanboy. You're right. We are missing Audi fanboy. Yeah. Ooh, it is getting real slick. I do think the tires were a little bit more capable on the Tremor, which makes sense. I mean, those were meaty boys. 
These are just boys. Oh, some lights down that way. Yeah, we got plow truck coming and many of crashes today. Yeah, there will be a lot. Yep. Good day to speed because the cops will be busy with other things. <laughs> <laughs> but then when you speed and crash, they'll be busy with you too. Fair so. enough. Room. My legs are not touching the seat, and I think the overall seat as well is pretty comfortable. Nice. And I like the orange. The orange I like the, the orange too. Yeah, the it's orange works nice, for me. Nice touch. You don't see a lot of that, so it's kind of refreshing. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the headroom in this car is remarkable. I'm five foot yeah, ten, and I have a bunch. Okay. And that, yeah. e even if you had a sunroof, it'd still have a good amount of, good amount oh, of yeah. headroom. This motor's torquey too, 250 horse, but 276 pound feet of torque. And it makes for a nice driving experience because you can sort of accelerate and get up to speed whether you're on the highway or daily driving, traffic, whatever. The engine doesn't have to work very hard. It just pulls itself up to speed with, with very little pomp and circumstance. And at this point, Ford has really dialed in their two liter turbocharged motor. So yeah, it's plenty nice to drive. And this eight speed transmission is a good, good one as well. Braking, very linear. Oh, that truck just definitely went up onto the curb of the... Yeah. Oh, he did. He did. Oh, man. That's a ram for you. Yep, he's just ramming the <laughs> roundabout. Yep. Typical ram driver here in Michigan. Yep. Hank, the mean man, wants me to ask you if you know what time it is. It is 4.55. <laughs> he's been commenting this whole time about donut time. Oh. <laughs> it is 4.55. <laughs> I can try for donut time in this. I don't know how well it'll work. There's no, you can't defeat the stability control, so it's gonna, it's gonna nerf it, but I'll, I'll do my best. Okay. Where's the Ford Maverick made? Mexico, where Moran likes to do um, long extended pulls in his GLS 63 with 900 wheel horsepower. <laughs> Moran says, I was trying to renew my membership for about two weeks, but for some reason YouTube was not renewing it was saying that I paid too much from one card, so I tried five cards. Finally, it renewed. <laughs> we really appreciate your dedication, Moran. We really do. Thank that you, Moran. That is real dedication right there. I wish I could gift memberships to people, but unfortunately, it's not. I seriously appreciate how gingerly you're taking this curve. Because that was my maximum of grip right there. <laughs> yes. Was... Yeah. Wow. These are by, this is by far the worst the roads have been this year. Like, yeah, it's the worst. I don't even know that they got this bad last year. Man, this thing is just awesome through it though. This thing smells horrible. It does. It's the waste yeah, treatment plant. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Daily Motor Shorts commented and said, help, I have no traction. Oh, that's Nathan. Nathan and his focus. We might, his focus, his tiny little focus. He's out in this in the focus? Oh, yeah, gosh. he had an appointment and he oh, had to, Go Lots to. of handbrake turns, Nathan. Nathan, tonight's a great night to do some delivering, though, because uh, so many people are gonna. Yeah, they're yeah. not gonna want to go out, and that so therefore uh, the bonuses will probably jump up. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if it'd be better to take his Taurus out. I don't know. At least if he curbs the the focus, it's like. Eh. <laughs> we love curbing cheap cars. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Chris Brower was probably like, oh, oops, Chris Brower steering's messed curved. up. And then it's like, oh well. Which is exactly just, why you're driving the E46 yeah, this winter and not like, the Lexus. I was like, oh no, let me drive a half mile back to the shop. Yep. <laughs> he commented again and said, I can't make it up this hill. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. That's rough. That is rough. He must be downtown Ann Arbor. Um, this truck would be a hoss with some winter tires. We definitely need to hit up Bridgestone or yeah, Continental or yeah. something like that or Michelin and get some winners. I would, I would like that. The all-wheel drive system seems pretty competent, but I mean, like full brake right now. Ooh. We are we are lacking a little bit in outright traction. Yeah. Wow. Speaking of which. <laughs> Thank you. Now we can see. Oh. Pretty decent. Yeah, it almost seems like it can accelerate better than it can decelerate. Oh, Joshua John is asking, what do you think of the luxury car manufacturers like BMW, Mercedes, and Audi building vehicles in Mexico compared to Germany or the US? 
I mean, honestly, if they can just insist that the people who are working in the factory work to the same uh, standards as anywhere else, I mean, there's there's nothing about where a person lives or is born or their their culture that w would change what um, their standard is for doing good work. Or it not. shouldn't. Yeah, I mean, it, it kind of comes down to more how much are you paying your employees and and as a, from a management standpoint, what. Um, quality controls do you have in, in place. So you can have cars built in China or Mexico or Indonesia or whatever that feel just as solid as built in Germany, but it just, it takes the requirements of management and of the companies to insist upon it. You're gonna, okay. <laughs> ah, the Pittsburgh man is asking why we chose the Maverick over something like the Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz doesn't have a volume knob. <laughs> Santa Cruz doesn't have the volume knob. Yeah, that's the answer. That is it. I just did it for Charlie's so I... No, it's a few things. One, this is cheaper. Or the Ridge Line. Cheaper. Uh, yeah, from greatest manufacturer of all, Nissan. <laughs> um, I do like the Honda Ridge Line, but this is more fun to drive and gets better gas mileage and it's easier to drive. It is smaller and you have to realize we don't do a lot of truck truck type things and even when we do we can clearly get press truck. I mean we have an F-150 right now it's not that hard to do. This Maverick allows Alyssa to have it kind of as a daily driver just have it around and have fun with it and just do her her daily errands still get decent fuel economy and have it be maneuverable and easy to park and things like that but then still have a bed to do some truck stuff. Other than that, this is cheaper than a Santa Cruz and honestly a little bit more endearing and fun to drive. The Santa Cruz is more fun from like a hardy, fast car, like quality car, almost luxurious in a way mm. perspective. This is more fun in just like a simple, pure sort of way. Not only that, but I get employee pricing at Ford through family, so that helped a lot too. Yep. Cool. Philip Barrero is asking if you ever reviewed the sound system in the new BMW M240i. No. Chris Brower and I have driven that car, but we haven't had one here at DMHQ yet, so I haven't had a chance to test the sound system. Got it. Should be coming the next month or two. Hank says the Santa Cruz has a cramped back seat. A little bit more, yeah. It's not too much more dramatic than this, but a little bit. Wow. Chandler said that he read or saw something that quality on some Volkswagens out of Mexico had better quality control than some out of Germany. Yeah, I mean, it's just like that. It really just depends on how the plants are being run and not, not the people themselves or the area. Right. This would make for a great uh, autocross car. Or rally cross, sorry, rally, rally, cross, rally yeah. cross car. says in a week or two I may drive to Michigan because I got a message from AMW that my Dana 60 axles arrived should I tow the 812 there with some winter tires if I can find winter tires for it in LA huh. yeah or we'll find some winter tires for you here and we'll get them all mounted up on wheels and we'll we'll hoon it have some fun huh. that's fun that'd be sick yeah because you have your F450 now so you can actually do that that's yeah. pretty cool yeah I've sat in an 812 super fast but I never drove one I'm sure they're pretty Speedy. Nothing else? No, nope, we're caught up. Cool. We're going to get wrapping this up here pretty soon. So thank you all so much for watching. And you know we're going to be coming at you with a lot more Maverick content. We do have the intro video coming tomorrow on it, but it kind of doesn't get into too much. But it'll be cool to just kind of see how we grow with this truck, do some more testing with it. I'm going to wait to do the fuel economy until after break and miles are done, so probably another few weeks. And what else? Just more perspectives from ownership. I think that'll be cool. Some of the uh, possible issues will be, I'm curious if we are actually gonna get the fuel economy that is reported by the EPA. Ford sometimes has trouble with that. It'll also be interesting to see if doing things like getting groceries, how that works without having a covered bed. I mean, you're gonna have to fit it all in the back. You can lift up the rear seats and there's a good amount of storage under there, but Sometimes you have a lot of things to get from Costco or whatever, and it'll be interesting how this fills up. Yep. Yeah. I think having the bed liner and a tunnel cover will be really nice. Yeah. Um, just toss things in there. Yeah. 
I'd like to get the little bed extender thing too that you can get to kind of keep stuff in a certain area. And you can also put two by fours or two by sixes in the bed and create little partitions. So we'll have to play around Ooh, with that too. I would like to see that. Yeah. That'd be really cool. Cool. Yep. So we got another few minutes. So if there's any last things you'd like to know or see, this is one interesting thing that Nathan and I noticed. There's not a whole bunch of sound deadening in the engine compartment or firewall or anything. So when you honk, it's very loud. Oh, it is very loud. Yeah, there's a lot of intrusion in there. Try driving with traction control on now. Let's see how invasive it is. No manual e brake, so you can't slide it around without. Oh! You know, it just kind of kills it. Is there traction? Yes. Still getting a little bit of slide action, but <laughs> it's managing it. It's no electric vehicle, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Hank says, I almost bought a 22 Elantra if not for the transmission being made in Mexico. Otherwise, a nice car. Yeah. Don't know what to tell you. Also, he doesn't like Hyundai. Well, then there yeah. you go. That's a good reason not to buy a 2022 Hyundai Elantra. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> New Civic, man. Daily Motor Car of the Year. Just get a Civic. Although you still get a CVT. Get a Civic manual. Hatchback. <laughs> that CVT's not that bad. Though. It's really not that bad, no. The cool thing about Hyundai CVTs, though, is that they're chain-driven, so they're a little more snappy than um, than Honda CVTs. Gotcha. Yeah. Nice. Okay. The CVT in that Corolla Cross had, like, a gear, and then it switches to a CVT. Oh, is it one of those? Yeah. It has, like, a first gear, and then... That just seems even more complex to me. Changes to CVT, yeah. Who knows? Hmm. If Toyota's making it, though, it'll be reliable. Ron said he actually hasn't gotten his F450 yet. What? He ordered it, but got a heads up from the dealer that they may have a delivery. Uh, they may deliver it in about three months, but I tow the GLS. Fair enough. That GLS would be sick. We could shoot that too. Nathan said he just hit a curb. <laughs> Yikes. Well, to adjust Moran first. Sorry. For those of you who don't know, um, Moran has been trying to order his new F450 since probably when since we started doing live drives over a year ago. So it boggles my mind that he still haven't gotten that. Should have just gotten a Ram, man. Just gotten a big old Ram. If, well, I don't think they make a 450 Ram. 350 would have been enough. <laughs> and so Nathan hit a curb, huh? Nathan hit a curb. <laughs> Is it still operational? He said just hit a curb with the tongue out emoji, so it's probably fine. Okay. He's probably okay. Yeah. I don't like that he's texting while he's driving in this snow. Yeah. Well, Nathan, do, what probably, are you doing? He's probably like, stop. Maybe he pulled over. <laughs> mm. The Pittsburgh man says, I'm never driving in Michigan. Y'all see snow and forget Me everything. Either. I'm never driving in Michigan again. <laughs> <laughs> Ever. Ever. Snow with snow now with standing. Yeah. Somehow Chris is going to do car reviews and just not drive. <laughs> Emily will drive. We'll set up a green screen in the garage. <laughs> Emily like, will drive and... Yeah, right. <laughs> We'll just, what we'll do is we'll get Forza Motorsport 7 or Forza Horizon 5. And, yeah. oh and then gosh. Chris will just build the closest spec he can in the game to whatever press car we have. Yep. And then he'll just review it. And we'll stream it. We'll stream it on Twitch. Yep. That'll, hey man, it'll probably make more money than this. Honestly, I probably would. Use less gas. <laughs> no gas. Right. Okay. Just the gas to get to the garage. Yep. Oh, fun stuff. Yep. Yeah, I prefer driving in northern Michigan for the snow, and, and I'm sure Canada is better too, because in Canada you're required to have winter tires on your car. So, I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. How do they enforce that though? Is it like uh, penalized when. Inspection. They probably just do yearly inspect or bi yearly inspections or something. Yeah, yeah that's also. a Canadian also, in the chat that can tell us too. Yeah, Pittsburgh man can tell us, but it's probably just one of those things where if you get seen driving without, like if you get in an accident or get seen driving without the winter right. tires, oh, you get a you ticket. Get probably the same thing with car insurance. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Michigan's been such a lawless hellscape recently that you can pretty much drive around with no insurance, no plate, no valid anything. And all you have to say is, I, I haven't been able to get to the DMV. The line's too long. And they'll be like, yeah, you're good. Yeah, okay, just keep yeah. going. You're, yeah, I hate those lines too, man. Yep. My buddy got pulled over in his ML55 like three times without a plate, and they let him go every single time. Really? Yep. See, that's what I told Alyssa. The Volvo doesn't have a plate right now. I'm like, just drive without it. And if you, on the off chance you got a ticket, I'll pay it. Yeah. <laughs> just like... It's, it'd be so surprising if that happened. Brake check. Oh, I love the 
Kate. Instead of ABS. <laughs> uh, ABS in the U. It's ridiculous. Muhammad thinks that you look like an English or Scottish person, Charlie. Oh, the Russian and the Scot. It's just our heritage. There's some drift action. There's, this is partial. Whee. Just don't hit, don't hit a curb. Seems like it's the thing to do today. Though. Definitely don't want to be three for three on that. Yep. <laughs> all right, I'll, I'll save that for in the F-150 so it'll just hit above, like the, the curb will just hit all oh, yeah, the rubber. Just go over it. Yeah. Sweet. Well, that was a fun one. It was a fun one. Not only did we have Alyssa in, but we had Chris Brower and... What a treat. Yeah, no Nathan, unfortunately, but maybe in the start of 22, we can have everyone in. Nathan was yeah. here in spirit and yeah. in the comments. And he in sure was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Yeah. Well, shall we, uh, well, are there any comments we should get to before yeah. we go outside? Yeah. Pittsburgh man is asking what the question is again. Oh, how they, what's the ticket for driving without snow tires in Canada? Or do they do some sort of inspection? Yeah. Moran says, I hate the Ram, not the T-Rex, but the whole lineup. I know. And Chandler wants uh, mandated driver's education in the U.S. Well, there is, well, there kind of is. I guess you don't, technically you can get your license by taking a test, which is kind of awful. You gotta wait yeah. till you're 21. Still, that's it's as as though like being older makes you a better driver. I mean, yeah. I guess it makes you a little more true. patient or something. But, yeah. So yeah. either 18 or 21. I think. I think it's 18. I think it's 18, actually. Yeah. 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 All good? We're good. Cool. Let's hop out, do one more walk around, and we'll wrap it. We will be back next week okay. with... Chris, do you remember what we're getting next week? <laughs> no. I can look. I think it's a Honda Civic Si. Um, oh, and we're going to have the, uh, the Cadillac CT4 Blackwing manual as well. So that'll be a great car to have in the snow. Hopefully it's still snowy for that. No, it's a, uh, a Taos. Oh yeah, it's a Taos and a Blackwing. Yeah. CT4 Blackwing. Civic SI is uh, following Tenth. me. Cool. Yeah. Neat. Well, thanks for coming along with trucks and snow and curbs and all sorts of goodness. Oh, it's our friend Mr. Policeman. Just making sure we weren't doing any nefarious activity. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be back next week. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. We're Charlie, Alyssa, and Christopher from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on.